Hey guys, Dean here. So if you want to build the most attractive and well-structured website pages on your Shopify store, then look no further than this video, because today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can use this PageFly landing builder to create some of the most awesome and visually appealing pages on your Shopify web store. So let's not waste time and let's jump right into the steps. So PageFly is basically an app that we can use to craft stunning store pages with no coding required and with great page speed, which is very important on Shopify. So this is for people who want to elevate their store design and they don't really know how to design their store very effectively. So this should be pretty easy to customize the visuals and functionality down to the smallest detail. Now there are some starting templates we can use with PageFly which makes it very attractive to use. And as you can see, we can start with page and section templates, create SEO friendly pages that don't slow down your store. So these are pages that are optimized for search engine optimization. So our website can be easily found on Google and it's very responsive for mobile too. If you you guys are Shopify dropshipping for an example you'll realize that most users and the traffic come to your store is going to be from mobile devices anyway so this is very important. We can also build with conversion focused elements and add-on integration so anything which gets the customers to actually buy right. So let's go ahead and press add app let's not waste time describing this app and what it does let's get down to the gritty and install it. So press add app and then install app so you may be wondering what exactly should we be doing from here. So as you can see there's a getting started video so if you don't understand this tutorial, you can go ahead and watch that first too. And this is where we can build the different Shopify pages. We can build our home page, our product page, and our landing pages all from scratch here. There's also some recommended apps. So after it's loaded, it will recommend you some apps that work alongside this. They're integrated fairly well. Like we have UpPromote, which is for affiliate programs and referrals. We have an SEO booster, which is good for website speed as well. And Shopify themes that they recommend, like this Blum theme to install with this. But for the most part, these are going to be paid themes, so we can skip that. So now that's the base basic dashboard. Next, we can have a look at analytics. Analytics is disabled by default, but this will show us information about our website. So the conversion rate, the add to cart, visitors, sessions, and revenue. And obviously, if you see behind my camera, there's certain credits you have each month to track these analytics, which are refreshed on the first of each month. So this isn't actually free. Then on the left-hand side under publishing, we can go down to pages and this shows us our pages. So we can click regular pages and this is where we create our first pages. Okay. And we're going to get onto that in a moment. Then under section, we can create new sections. So these are used on PageFly pages and also on the Shopify theme templates. PageFly add-ons is where we can add certain things. So option swatches are the advanced setting and customization for product variants. We can click on this to customize that further. So we can add option swatches here. And these are basically used to show product variants on the product pages. Under integrations, these are third-party applications supported by PageFly. So if you're wondering which applications we can use when we use the PageFly app, you can use many different applications apps for an example they're all shown in here for an example Ali reviews which we used in one of the last tutorials is actually supported by this as well as judge.me which I've shown on this channel and vitals too so a lot of the apps which I've made tutorials on you can use with the page five builder under referral plans this is where you can earn certain coins or have referrals so you can use your own link trash is usually where you delete your pages so they'll show up here if you want to recover them and then settings is where we have all the settings so we can manage the user interface so the language and and UI, your billing and usage, the global styling of the elements, analytics, which we looked at before, the fonts manager, which is specifically useful because if you want to use a custom font with this page builder, you can actually upload them here with this blue button next to my camera, upload new fonts, and then that will allow you to use them in the theme editor. And then there's also account to manage your account information. So now let's go to pages once more. And you can see we have home pages, which is if we want to create that landing page, which is probably what you guys want to use PageFly for, since it's called the page fly landing builder but i already have landing page then we have product pages if you want to build a product catalog or specific product pages we have collection pages blog posts which are particularly nice if you want to make a really attractive looking blog we have passworded pages if you want to lock things behind a password code and regular pages so i'm going to select product pages over here and it'll show me some templates now product pages are what you want to use specifically with drop shipping because most people who come from your ad on an e-commerce store aren't going to look at other pages on your site unless it's like an FAQ or a tracking page, they're probably not going to have a look at it. So it's your product page, which needs to be optimized the best. Now, as you can see, there's many different templates over here, and this is just like an image carousel, which is a preview. It says a product page allows you to add more content to your current product page, and you can choose to hide the default page generated by your theme and have a fully customizable one from this app. So press create from
from template because then we can use the templates that they already have and as you can see we can scroll down have a look at these templates over here i particularly like this template ella this is very good especially for like a beauty product so i'm going to select that and press preview this is a beauty product page now this is particularly good and i'll tell you the reason why i've selected it is because one of the main niches is health and beauty for drop shippers and i know most people watching my channel are using the drop shipping business model on shopify which is why this page is going to be particularly very attractive and stand out for you guys so as you can see this looks really nice this is how the product page is going to look and you're probably going to replace these images of the product and the model with things that are more related to what you're actually selling but you can make it look just as good as this you can have the key pros of the product and replace these images maybe add some gifts this would be a very high converting product page and it uses the ali reviews plugin which i made a tutorial on last time so you can go on my channel if you want to know how to use that and you can see at the top it says this template is using ali reviews element and that basically means that if you've got ali reviews installed it will show your reviews automatically without you having to customize it yourself then we have the image carousel reviews down here so if you have ali reviews they'll look like these you can also use the luke's photo reviews app because you can use photo reviews for free on that and it has a brand about us page you can also click the mobile so it'll show you what the product page looks like on mobile which is just as good very attractive so let's select this template and then from here when we select a template it'll take us into the builder we want to delete this this thing where it tells us about using the ali reviews widget because that doesn't matter we don't want our customers to see it so anything you click on you can press the delete key and delete those elements and then now we just have this so if we wanted to replace this model picture we'd press select and then we'd select a picture we'd upload it from our computer and we could replace it so i'll just upload a picture of these headphones just to show you what it's like when i replace an image this is a very bad image by the way upload one which is optimized or it won't look good at all and then the product details this is basically put here automatically so it show product information okay so the product source would be custom product and then select product and you select which product you want to show and it show the product information here so this is my product so it'll show product information on the left and then you'd obviously put a real image which is good then under here you'd maybe put the pros of the product so smooth skin for an example if it was a beauty product we we're doing natural ingredients organically sourced which would probably be similar to natural ingredients and powerful formula something like that and then how to use we put a guide on how to use the product which i really like because it has the tutorial in line with the products page which i think is a very powerful tactic and we could edit all of these elements to our specific ideal and then we can publish this to our store we could edit the social media as your app for your brand and on the right hand side just some general information we can modify the contents under the columns and we could add new columns we can change the content position so if i click on this it'll show us the image position we can press to the right and it will move that image position and there's obviously options for every element that we click on on the left hand side we can also add new elements so this is where you add things to the list on your website so we can add icons we can add buttons lists paragraphs and headings we can also add images videos instagram feeds which are particularly good so if i press instagram feed Feed. I could add an Instagram feed onto the website and then information over here too. We could click on add Shopify element. So this will allow us to add Shopify default information. So this would be like an add to cart button, product description and product price, any information about an existing product we already have, customer form fields for contact us. Third party elements would be things like from apps that we already have. So like the Ali Reviews app it mentioned, we'd add third party app information and widgets over here. And you can have a look at the apps that we can use to install them or see if you've got them installed and then what we could do is we could click all devices go on laptop tablet or mobile and view what our website looks like on each device okay then we could go ahead press editor settings enable theme styling view page structure enable auto save we've got the undo and redo buttons here in case you make a mistake and then we can click save or save and publish and this will publish it directly to our website and then we can view it okay under more actions we can go under page settings and customize settings for the page and optimize the page as well so this was how to use the page fly landing page creator and build if you have any questions make sure to comment them right down below and i'll try my best to get back to you and answer any questions you have and make sure to like the video and subscribe because i'll be posting a lot of free content just like my free shopify drop shipping course which is linked down below it's completely free no hidden strings attached you can just watch that and get into shopify without paying a dime for these other expensive courses because i believe that education especially free education is very powerful so make sure to subscribe you're going to find a ton of value on this channel and i'll catch you real soon